Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Maharaja of Pandya. In the last episode we didn't really do much, but we, well in terms of military anyway, but we did um, go through the business focus event chain and we got the architect trait, which is quite nice. Though we still don't have enough stewardship to raise our domain limit uh, to hold all the lands we have. I'm just going to continue to hold on to the extra county though. We could gain more diplomacy at some point, or more stewardship rather. And it's not too big of a penalty to keep it. Um, so we are looking out for our opportunities to expand. We were waiting for this guy to die, which obviously won't immediately result in a regency, but it um, will get us a step closer. Um, there's also the possibility of claimants over here, which we should be keeping an eye on. I don't think I actually checked this when... Um, it was this guy that just came of age. Uh, he still wouldn't... Well, he wouldn't accept an invitation. Um, nope. Guess that's not going to happen. Uh, let's check this other duchy over here. Or Raj, rather. Um, oh, this is the same one. Um, Uh, okay, that one does have a claimant that will accept an invitation. Good. Let's invite him. Okay, and let's check that it's, uh, it is only a weak claim, unfortunately, so... We're, we still wouldn't be able to press it, I think. Which is unfortunate. Um, if he was to die, we would be able to press it. Uh, so let's cancel our current um, plot, which isn't likely to do anything anyway, so see if we can kill this guy. Seems unlikely. A niece was born to us, okay. Absolutely nobody wants to kill him at all. I guess he's a popular guy. You would think because he's possessed, um, people might be a little more inclined to do it, but I guess not. Well, we may as well just cancel this plot then. And we'll... Um, keep an eye on him to make sure that we can um, take the opportunity to actually press this claim once uh, we have the opportunity to do that. So I'll set that character as special interest. Um, do we need him as special interest? I guess we may as well. Okay, you made my Chancellor like me better, that's good. A traveling poet who calls himself a bard arrived today. You could say a good-for-nothing nobody and be cynical for a while. Or if he does anything wrong, I will break every bone in his body. Uh, okay. The chancellor will have some reaction to that or say he can stay as long as he likes. I guess we'll let him stay. I found out that uh, my Chancellor had, had, had introduced the bard to the court, and I told him how much I appreciated that. Finally, someone who can sing. Okay. Good. Uh, let's, in the meantime... Oh, we can't hold a tiger hunt, I guess, because we don't have the money. You're... You just made my Chancellor like me again. That's good, I suppose. He is my Chancellor. Maybe he's not making my Chancellor like me, and it's just showing him in the event, because that's who's doing it, and I've been misinterpreting it the whole time. My dear friend, it pains me to have to ask you to join my war. It's my friend the Caliph. Uh, I must confess that this war does not progress as well as I'd hoped it would, and I would really appreciate it if you would lend me your help, your troops, and your siege weapons. Uh, so I can go to the rescue, I can give him 34 gold, which I'm not going to do. Or I cannot help it this time. I guess we'll help. I mean, in spirit, if not with actual soldiers. Let's see what's going on there. I'm not sure where this guy even lives. 
Uh, okay, so it's this revolt against um, this guy, I guess. Okay. What ugly borders. If I'd known he had such ugly borders, I'd never have befriended him. Well, I don't know why he would be having too much of a problem with that. He should be just fine. Though he is losing currently. Um, it looks like he's got a decent amount of troops. So yeah, he's fine. No need to worry about that. to a maximum of 66 boats. We're about to have another shipyard finished. Which I believe will get us to 72. Once the levies re uh, replenish, of course. 74, actually. Um, during a visit to Kila Karai, Thakur, somebody of somewhere, and his entourage were accosted by brigands who made off with several valuables. Efforts to catch the thieves have failed. And the Thakur is now demanding compensation from the mayor. The matter has been brought for arbitration at your court. So we can say the mayor will pay for what was lost, or the mayor can't be responsible, or I'll personally compensate. Well, I'm not going to personally compensate everyone with my uh, slightly uh, unfortunate financial situation. Uh, let's side with the higher-ranking guy, I guess. I guess we got kind of lucky to not have any any um, negative events when we were bankrupt for a while there, so that's good. My brother asked me for a FIFA zone. I told him he's not ready. Okay, a son was born to somebody. Um, I suppose if we can't kill the top leech here, we can at least kill his heir to make sure that there is going to be a regency. Or at least try to. Seems like we have a slightly better chance of doing that. Actually, quite a few bribable people here. Do we want to spend gold on this? Craftsmen that you funded a couple of years ago have returned to tell you of their success in setting up their business, as it's now one of the most profitable enterprises in Tagadur. Alright, that's really good. Get um, extra city tax in that city. So with that windfall, I think we will spend some of this gold on trying to kill the heir here. 57. Uh, all right. I guess when I said some of this gold, I meant all of it. Actually, this guy will probably only take 20, so we'll do him instead. And him. Think that should get us over 100? Yeah, in fact, I did not even need to spend that much money. That's fine. Just take another check on the claimants down here, in case any of them change their mind. And in fact, we had another one come of age. Um, nope, he doesn't want to join either. Uh, your court guru has come to see you. I must speak to you of an important matter. 
We must always seek wisdom and try to walk the righteous path in life. It is not fitting for a noble ruler to be so prone to cruelty. He bears and looks at you in silence. So I shall strive to improve. 10% chance of losing cruel or tell him to leave me alone. Uh, sure, I wouldn't mind losing cruel. I didn't. Oh well. Uh, why don't we go on a tiger hunt though? Oh, we can't, we're not at peace. I kind of forgot we were in that war. Let's see how it's going. Somehow, not very well. Minus 78% because the rebels control all their holdings. It looks like he is trying to siege this, so... As long as he stays there and does that... Then everything should be fine there. He has won some pretty uh, valuable battles. Okay, another um, Thakur has been robbed. I guess we could personally compensate them now. We have some spare money. See if anything different happens there. And my wife is pregnant again. Uh, let's see what's happening in Europe while we're over here. Germany exists, which means it's uh, not held by a Carling, King Hugh of Germany. Um, did the Umayyads take more land off of Asturias, possibly? Who knows? I haven't really been paying enough attention to what's going on up here to really know. So they have all sorts of incredibly messy borders going on, though. So I guess he did win that siege because he's immediately gone up to 75% war score. Then back down to 70. Okay, we took some technology from Damascus. Always nice. Uh, we can... Actually press a duchy claim up here. I don't really want to do that. It's the same one. Eh, uh, okay. Nothing we really want to do there. And my daughter lacks a guardian. I guess we should probably educate her personally. There's a small chance that she might end up being my heir if we don't have any other sons and this one dies then our eldest daughter would inherit which could happen doesn't hurt to prepare for the possibility we had a nephew born you're still alive and you are still alive. Our plot still hasn't fired yet, but it should at some point. And there we go. I don't have knowledge of the future, but sometimes I get lucky. Um, yes, let's approve the plan. So my daughter wants to play with friends instead of studying. Um, sure, we'll make her just humble or shy. Just as good. Success, the mercenaries ambushed the carriage of Prince Krishna and made short work of him. Excellent. So, assuming he dies... Oh no, he still has an adult heir. Well, that's annoying. 
Um, and he has an adult heir. What kind of succession is going on here? A gavel kind. Um, oh, okay, I guess because he didn't have any male children. Well, uh, we're actually going to have to kill a lot of people to get a Regency going on over there, unfortunately. So it doesn't seem like that's likely to be feasible. Uh, we'll try plotting to kill him. Doesn't seem like that's going to happen either. I don't really want to go spending a bunch more money on it. A lot of people dying a natural death. And this guy still has his mysteriously strong army that doesn't make sense according to this tooltip, but I guess that's just how strong it is. It has been an awfully long time since we went to war, so I'm kind of... Uh itching to do it at some point soon, um, to at least take this county from him. Somebody set aside his concubine. We could be taking concubines, of course, that is a thing we can do. Okay, um, my, this is my guru, wasn't it? He died a natural death, okay. Okay. So we need a new uh, dude here. Uh, let's see, we'll have him try to convert this county. I suppose. May as well cancel this and see if there's any chance now of killing this guy, though. I doubt it. Oh, and I fulfill the ambition to amass wealth, which I kind of forgot I had. I guess we just inherited a lot of money from my grandmother? Because I did not have close to 500 gold previously. Anyway, apparently we have no valid ambitions now. So that's fine. Uh, let's spend some of this money that we just inherited. I guess we could use it on mercenaries to attack him. So it doesn't really seem worth hiring mercenaries just to gain one county. Mm. I think I'll just spend it on castle upgrades. Get a couple of castle towns in our capital county. Actually, that one's cheaper. Okay, and our friend won his war. That's good for him. That means we can go on a tiger hunt, finally. We'll invite our vassals to enjoy the occasion. Okay, everyone gathers at the hunting camp. Oh, okay. A failed hunt, I guess. And I'm now known as the Cruel, which I think my father was also known as. And his father? No, he was the Just. But he wasn't the... No, this, was, this must have been when we formed the Kingdom title, I guess. Okay. The cook complained to me about my daughter's temper tantrums. Apparently she punched her son in the face again. So we can say the kid shows spirit and she gains wrath. Beat her into being calm. 30% chance of being patient. Or 50% chance of being patient with this one. So I think we'll go for that. Obviously there's no point praying for her soul. 
Oh, she became patient. Good. Ah, my steward did not notice, or did not think I'd notice if a few coins here and there went missing, but the steady disappearance made me suspicious. Let's question him. I found some more evidence he'd stolen the money and confronted him with it. He confessed and begged me to be just when punishing him. So we can gain 57 gold, or we can gain arbitrary, or we can put him in prison. We'll just gain the gold. That's good. And my nephew needs an education. He shouldn't be important, so we'll just give him to a random person. Alright, well, uh, we're out of time for this episode, so we'll have to end this one here. Join me again next time, uh, when hopefully we'll go to war with somebody for some reason. But in any case, thanks for watching.